How many people own one Bitcoin? This is shocking. It might be a far stretch, but we doubt even Satoshi Nakamoto dreamed of Bitcoin becoming so huge in such a short time. In 2013, all you could buy with Bitcoin was Papa John's pizza, and even that took 10 Bitcoins. Years ago, most people aimed to get as much Bitcoin as they could. Today, all you need is one Bitcoin, which has an all-time high of $69,000. But Bitcoiners believe that someday, one Bitcoin would be enough to make you a millionaire. That and more is what we will be discussing in today's video. Before we begin, take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into it. The Million Dollar Bitcoin Many people believe Bitcoin can break the bank and reach $1 million someday. To put it in perspective, Bitcoin was worth $43,115 at the time of making this video and has a market capitalization of $844.59 billion. If it reaches $1 million, it would have a market cap of approximately $20 trillion. That is almost twice the market cap of gold and half the value of the US stock market. Although it's impossible to know when or if Bitcoin will reach a million dollars, experts believe it's a possibility. Bitcoin has broken several milestones since Satoshi Nakamoto mined its first block in 2009, from the Papa John's pizza sale that marked its first commercial usage to hit $1,000 for the first time in 2013. Furthermore, since the mid-2010s, the digital currency has gained over 60,890,000%, beating the wildest imaginations of even its most ardent supporters. These are markers of Bitcoin's insane growth potential, and there's nothing to stop it from hitting the million dollar mark if it continues the way it's going. However, experts agree that for Bitcoin to be worth $1 million, there must be a major shift in the way our society operates. Taking a rather apocalyptic note, for Bitcoin to reach that milestone, the current financial system would have to be on the brink of collapse. Currently, stocks and gold are top choices for storing value for the long term. If you had $10,000 worth of stocks from 1975, after adjusting for inflation, you can still exchange it today for goods worth its value. The same logic applies to gold. Hence, these are capable instruments for storing value, which explains why so much capital is invested in them. For Bitcoin to reach the $1 million milestone, it has to beat or be equivalent to these instruments. In essence, it has to evolve into a store of value. People have to be willing to use it as a substitute for gold and stocks, making it a bigger asset to own. Given that both gold and stocks are pillars of the economy and the current financial system, the odds of this happening are slim. Nevertheless, it is still a possibility and cannot be completely dismissed. One possible scenario is that capital is diverted so much that the US dollar loses much value. Investors would panic and lose trust in the dollar and the economy at large. They would begin to seek a stable asset that can be used seamlessly across borders and is outside the regulation of governments. Bitcoin meets all these requirements, and in such a scenario, its value would, theoretically, multiply exponentially. The drawback is that such an event would certainly mean that the society has undergone severe changes and the economy has been significantly transformed. The current financial system would be upended, and a big push for Bitcoin's rise would come from institutional adoption, which would see banks accept Bitcoin as a legal tender. Our way of buying and selling right now would be archaic, and in such a future, you could go into a supermarket downtown and buy a candy bar with Bitcoin. Nonetheless, the million dollar Bitcoin is still an attractive future for Bitcoiners. With inflation rising and macroeconomic conditions worsening, that future might just be closer than you think. A scarce resource. Today, 80% of Bitcoin that has been mined from the network is in the hands of whales, which are people that own 10 Bitcoin or more. This puts the rest of us in a very bad position. Unlike fiat money, Bitcoin has a limited supply. Only 21 million Bitcoins will ever be released by the network due to a pre-programming called Bitcoin halving. Every four years, the number of Bitcoins that can be mined from the network is cut by half. Currently, miners are rewarded with 6.25 Bitcoins, but by the next halving, April 2024, the reward would be slashed to 3.125 Bitcoins. In 2028, it will be slashed further, and it goes on until exactly 21 million Bitcoins have been mined. In two or three more halvings, the Bitcoins being mined would be like drops in a bucket until the last Bitcoin will be mined in 2140. 
The goal of the halving is to increasingly make Bitcoin scarce, which would drive up demand and in turn raise its value. Around 19 million Bitcoins have been mined so far. Although it cannot be completely verified, it is estimated that 5 to 6 million Bitcoins are lost forever by owners who can no longer access them. That leaves 13 to 14 million Bitcoins in circulation, 80% of which is in the wallets of whales. That leaves the rest of us with crumbs to bicker for. Bitcoin's inherent scarcity partially explains its rising demand. Although we still have 117 years until the last Bitcoin is mined, each halving makes it harder for people to accumulate Bitcoin. With whales constantly gobbling up as much Bitcoins as they can, demand keeps spiking and price continues to rise. Some analysts believe Bitcoin will hit $1 million during the next halving cycle, which begins in 2024. If that happens, owning just 0.1 Bitcoin would put you ahead of billions with a capital B. What's even better than owning 0.1 Bitcoin? Owning one Bitcoin. How many people own one Bitcoin? The answer to this question is inexhaustive. In truth, no one can truly know how many people own one Bitcoin. But that's not satisfying, is it? So let's throw in some statistics and give you a wider view of the board. How many people own and hold Bitcoin? Just like the previous question, no one will ever know the exact number of Bitcoin users in the world. We can only make estimates, and the most common method of estimating the number of Bitcoin owners is to look at the amount held in different accounts. According to BitcoinWorldwide.com, in 2023, there were 106 million Bitcoin owners and 200 million Bitcoin wallets. It is a succinct way to state the figures, but we went further down the statistics table. One of the great things about Bitcoin is that every address and transaction can be seen by everyone. Hence, we can put a precise figure on the number of Bitcoin addresses that have ever been created. Since 2009, there have been 460 million Bitcoin addresses that have held at least one Bitcoin. Today, 288 million of those addresses are empty. That leaves only 172 addresses that could be considered active, which means there have been regular Bitcoin transactions on them. Of those, 147 million belong to exchanges, Bitcoin services, merchants, or other kinds of market actors. Basically, these addresses do not belong to an individual. The remaining 25 million active addresses are privately owned by people on the network. But we cannot conclude yet because this method brings up some issues. Firstly, exchanges and other services can hold Bitcoins belonging to several people in one address. For example, Bitfinex, a Bitcoin exchange with millions of users, holds over 18,000 Bitcoins in one address. We cannot treat the address as one person because it represents thousands of people. Also, people often create multiple wallets and addresses. An individual, for instance, can have one Bitcoin in his laptop and 0.7 Bitcoin in a flash drive. If each address is treated as a person, this would count as two people when it's just one person. Finally, there are Bitcoin investors that don't have a wallet. They use centralized services like Bitfinex or Coinbase and don't move their assets off the exchange. There is no way to add them to our estimate, which is another problem this method creates. Another method we could use is to check the number of accounts on exchanges, but that also comes with its Pandora's box that complicates the figures. How many people have at least one Bitcoin? There are 1,118,000 addresses with at least one Bitcoin in them. However, this does not mean that 1,118,000 people have one Bitcoin or more. As we stated earlier, many people own more than one address with at least one Bitcoin in them. We just don't know how many there are. These addresses can contain 10 Bitcoin, 10,000 Bitcoin, or just one Bitcoin. What we know with certainty is that only 21 million Bitcoins would be created. If there are 1,118,000 addresses with at least one Bitcoin, simple calculations would show that 92.87% of Bitcoin that would ever be mined is held by people with at least one Bitcoin in their wallets. You should note that it is possible to own fractions of a Bitcoin. So when we say addresses with one Bitcoin or more hold over 90% of Bitcoin in existence, we are excluding addresses that own 100 Satoshis, 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, 0.99 Bitcoin, and other addresses that continuously accumulate Bitcoin over time. In conclusion, less than 8% of Bitcoin is left to be mined, which sets the odds against those with less than one Bitcoin. 
With each halving, it becomes more difficult to accumulate one Bitcoin and keeps them away from becoming a millionaire when Bitcoin finally hits the million dollar mark. This has spurred the one-tenth parametric in which experts reason that having just one-tenth of a Bitcoin is just as good a position as having one Bitcoin. However, that is a story for another video. If you want me to make another video on that, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.